What's good with it, Black Goose TV family, man? Double salute as always. It's your boy Fluence Boxing back in the building once again with some more Fluence Boxing news. And look, this particular topic, I'm going to be 110% with y'all like I always am. It hits close to home, and y'all already know why. Y'all already know why. If you don't know why, I know you new to the family. I know you brand new to the family. Demetrius Andrade Boo Boo, you know what I'm saying? Top five for me. One of my favorite boxes for I don't know how long. I've loved Demetrius Andrade Boo Boo. I rolled for him. You know what I'm saying? I defended him. I'm like, even when I shouldn't be defending him, I defended him. I remember, you know what I'm saying? Back a couple years ago, you know what I'm saying? My my, my ex boxing coach, he used to go crazy on Demetrius. And I used to tell him, no, that's not the case. I, I used to go crazy hard for Demetrius Boo Boo Andrade, but I'm going to be 110% with y'all, like I said before. In the last year, year and a half, it's been really hard for me to defend my guy because he's made some business decisions where earlier in his career, I applauded him for his decision, uh, business decisions. I applauded him for chasing the bag rather than chasing the fighter because a lot of times, especially someone like Demetrius Bubu Andrade, his stylistic approach, the way he comes at the game, the way he fights, if he would have chased the fighter, he may not have ever gotten the opportunities that he should have gotten, which also translated and getting to the bag that he has now. You know what I'm saying? Instead of doing it that route, he chased the bag, he got his money. But unfortunately, now on the tail end of his career, because he decided to go that route, um, he, he really doesn't have the backing behind, you know what I'm saying, a prominent entity in the boxing promotional world that you have to have, especially at the division that he's fighting, for him to get a very prominent name. So a lot of the people outside of his fan base, casuals, hardcore boxing fans, whatever the case may be, or whatever you want to call it, will be able to put some respect on his name. Um, as of right now, y'all should already know, man, I heavily criticize my guy Demetrius Andrade Boo Boo for pulling out of the Zach Parker fight. I thought he should have stayed in that fight, even though he was going to be getting paid pennies in comparison to when it was originally made. I thought it would have been investment well worth the time, well worth the money, well worth the you know effort, fortitude, whatever you want to say, because the winner of that fight would have most likely been a direct, direct, direct opposition to Canelo. And as we can see, that is the case. John Ryder beat Zach Parker. John Ryder is supposed to be speculated, expected, rumored, alleged to fight Canelo next. That could have been Bubu Andrade now. I don't know how, like, obviously, boxing is a dirty business. So, obviously, Andrade could have easily beat Parker, took in that terrible paycheck, right, the lowest paycheck he's had probably in his whole entire career. And Canelo say, well, I don't want to fight him because that can be very possible because a lot of people say Canelo's been ducking booboo. How much that I can conclude to that being the truth as of now to this point of career that Canelo is and to see where Demetrius is, I really don't believe in much. Like I said, I don't believe in ducking, so I'm not going to all of a sudden start using that particular word for fighters that I don't particularly have a 100%, 110% like for, right? So I don't believe in ducking, so I don't think anyone's ducking anyone. So it's hard for me to believe, it's hard for me to say that if, uh, excuse me, if Demetrius Andrade would have beat Zach Parker, all of a sudden Canelo versus Demetrius isn't happening because as of now, Canelo versus John Ryder is happening, right? So, and everything could be orchestrated perfectly, right? Someone could have came to Demetrius Andrade for the Zach Parker fight and said, we'll pay you more to step aside for this fight. You do your thing. Let John Ryder get this fight so we can have what's in place or we can have what's planned between John Ryder versus Canelo supposedly happen. Who knows? You know, boxing is a dirty sport. That could be the case because, you know, if you follow the sport, things line up. A little bit too perfectly you know what i'm saying i've been saying that john Ryder was a guy on uh, canelo's horizon guy on you know canelo's eyesight uh, uh someone that was in his you know atmosphere uh was in his uh, vision um and that, that he wanted to have fight and remember i said even as early as that three fight two fight whatever the deal you want to say he signed with the zone over the pbc deal um you know people you know was speculating oh well he could have fought david benavidez jamal charlo and you know one other guy but he decided to go with the zone deal where he fights Triple G for that third time, then obviously he has a Dimitri Bavall fight, and a lot of people thought it was a two-fight deal, and later on he found it was a three-fight deal, and supposedly if he would have beat Bavall, he would have fought John uh, Ryder in December in the UK because that's, they've been trying to get Canelo as a UK uh, in the UK and, 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 and sell out that arena for the longest because Eddie Hearn you know, feels like that's mad lucrative. So for me, someone who follows the sport, connects the dots, like – I can definitely see how something may have been orchestrated so all this happens perfectly where Canelo still fights John Ryder, right? At the same time, I also got to have respect for the regular boxing fans who... I'm like, I, I'm like, I also have respect for the regular boxing fans who, you know, what I'm saying who who's like, all right, all that sounds cool, but that's like a conspiracy to me. Like, all I know is Demetrius Andrade didn't take the fight. He didn't want the pay cut, so he went ahead and he said no to it. Now John Ryder is in a position that he's been wanting to be in, and he lost out on the bag, okay? So 
I don't want to go into too much detail because it makes me mad. All right. It makes me actually upset. And I'm actually I'm going to go live later tonight to talk a little bit more in detail on this, watch some interviews, watch some reactions. We're going to have fun with it. So I'm not going to be too uh, um, long winded when it comes to this particular topic. But uh, make sure, you know, what I'm saying y'all hit that like button below. Subscribe to the channel. Show your boys some love. As y'all can see, Demetrius Andrade is returning next year, January 7th. Like I said in another video, Javante Davis protected Luis Garcia. Looks like it's going to be a pretty solid card. card. We have Jerome Boots Ennis on the card um, fighting my guy, uh, Karen. That's the co main event. Then Andrade is coming back against a solid opponent in Damon Nicholson. I actually think this is a harder fight than against Zach Parker, especially after seeing what Zach Parker did against John Ryder. I had a little bit of high hopes for Zach, uh, Zach Ryder, but excuse me, for uh, Zach Parker. But after seeing what Zach Parker did or uh, how he performed against John Ryder, I have a little bit more hope. Um, or I, I can I can positively say I think De Demond Nicholson is a little bit better of an opponent for Demetrius Andrade if you want to be hunted. So you can't really say that you know Andrade ducked for a skill level reason or anything like that, and that's a fact. Like I can say that pretty confidently. But uh, regardless of the case, it's like the unfortunate part of this particular sport is a lot of people are just going to say, well, yeah, you find a guy Nicholson who might be a little bit more you know, seasoned and Parker, a little bit more well-known in the States and Parker, but how can we give you credit for this? How can we show you love for this particular fight when you had Zach Parker and then possibly Canelo afterwards? I will say this, though. We give credit to Demetrius Andrade for this particular fight that a lot of people probably aren't going to talk about. Andrade is fighting on a PBC card. He's fighting on a Showtime card. So this is showing the first time ever when it comes to Demetrius Andrade. I'm a real free agent. I can fight anywhere now. There's no uh, there's no hiccups. There's nothing in, the, in between. There's no roadblocks. No one can come and say, hey, you cannot fight this guy or it's going to be hard to make this fight because we have promotional differences or the entity you're with. If they're not willing to go ahead and take the knee and be the B side, then they just got to get up out of here. So. This is something that a lot of people probably aren't going to be talking about that I think is a big deal and it should be the you know the center of this fight being made. And that's going to be the center of my argument and things I'm going to be talking about when I actually go live and talk about Andrade return. He's fighting on a PBC card. He's fighting on a Showtime card. He's a free agent. So that is something that is very good when it comes to us as Demetrius Andrade fans because there's, there, there, there got to be a point where it says, okay, it's not Boo Boo, it's the Charlo brothers. It's not Boo Boo, it's you know, whoever else he needs to fight. You know what I'm saying? Canelo, whatever the case may be. So this is a good look. A lot of boo-boo haters aren't going to hear what I'm saying. They don't got to care what I'm saying. They're just going to go off of, okay, well, what has he done for me lately, which is totally understandable. And a lot of people are not going to see Damon Nicholson as somebody that you can say, oh, well, he's done that for me lately, and they respect it. I'm fine with that. For me, as an Andrade fan, as much as I've been disappointed with a lot of the moves he's made, I can go ahead and justify this particular move to an extent where it's like, you pass up on Zach Parker because of that terrible payday, you're not sure if you're going to get the Canelo fight, even if he beat Zach Parker, even though he's saying he's going to fight John Ryder and John Ryder was in that same boat as you. You don't know if he's going to do that for you because obviously he's a higher risk with you than a low. He's a higher risk than you and a lower reward in, in comparison to John Ryder. Um, let's go over here. Let's show the world. I'm really a free agent. I'm fighting on a PBC card. I'm fighting on a Showtime card. We back, baby. There ain't no stopping me now. So I like that. I believe in it. Let's go ahead and get to this article. I already made it a little bit longer than I wanted to, but let's get into the details. Demetrius Bubu Andrade will be fighting the always tough Demond Nicholson in a 10-round fight as part of the Javante Tank Davis for Hector Luis Gar Garcia card on Showtime pay-per-view on January 7th. The former two-division world champion Andrade will be fighting the 29-year-old Nicholson, 26-4, in the first fight of the Showtime's televis televised pay-per-view card. Obviously, the 34-year-old Andrade would prefer to be the higher... Up on the card, still with the young welterweight phenom Jerome Boots Ennis on the card in the co-feature. Demetrius doesn't have a good enough opponent for the event to take a higher slot. Andrade recently vacated his WBO middleweight title to move up to 168 in search of a lucrative fight against undisputed super middleweight Canelo. The fight with Nicholson will be Andrade first at 168, and it's rumored that he'll be fighting Jamal Charlo next at super middleweight, which is, like I said, him fighting on PBC, Showtime. That means some. Getting a chance to face Canelo probably will never happen because the Mexican star has other fights on his plate in 2023. And let's be real. Uh, no one on the PBC side of the game is probably going to get a Canelo fight. Canelo has – him and Eddie Hearn has a whole entire shit planned. And let's be real, Eddie Hearn has no uh, uh, reasoning to give any type of uh, uh, any type of leeway or any type of love toward any American promoters right now knowing that he has Canelo. So that means that's no Canelo for Jamal, no Canelo for David Benavidez. This doesn't make any sense. My goal right now is to become a three-division world champion, Boo Boo said. 
I hope Demond Nicholas has a safe camp and brings his very best to the table so that we can have a great showing on this card. Demetrius on drop, baby. I'm ready to display my talent and skill on my journey to become a three division world championship. Nicholson has won his last three fights, beating Christopher Brooks, Gabriel Fam, and Victor Doracha. Before that, Nicholson was beaten by Edgar Belanga by an eight round unanimous decision. Nicholson's best wins were arguably against Jesse Nicolau and Mike Guy. He fought to an eight round draw against the always tough Emmanuel Lehm in 2016. Nicholson losses Belanga, Jesse Hart, Steve Rolls, Leakin. By Phil. So, you know, let's just be 100 with it. Demetrius Ron Draw should be able to put on a showcase and, and, and absolute uh, outperform Demond Nicholson. If he does anything other than that, that would be an absolute disappointment. If he goes all 10 rounds with him, that would be an absolute disappointment. Um, he needs to make a he needs to make a show in here and he needs to he, he, need, he needs to make a point. And that point needs to come by way of TKO or KO. I don't care if it's late, I don't care if it's early. He needs to make a point here because he needs to show these American fan bases that have not been following Andraj at all and really sees Andraj kind of like a UK guy. That's how a lot of y'all see him because he's been with the zone and Eddie Hearn since the beginning of the time. So a lot of U.S. fans really don't respect him. He needs to show him the reason why he needs to be respected. So I'm hoping I'm, Andrade does that in this fight. I'm all in for this fucking card specifically because of this. I don't care about anything else. I need to see Demetrius Andrade Boo come back. And I need to see him come back with fireworks, flames, all that good stuff. So let me know what y'all think about this fight. Drop it below in the comments. Obviously, hit the like button if you show, uh, if you like the video. Subscribe to the uh, channel if you're not part of the family. Um, on all sorts of niggas out of the game, I'll be back. But with more boxing, stay blessed, not stressing. You ain't no fam. Stay up, man. Keep working and keep moving and keep.